All right, when you're ready, I'll unleash the hair. Unleash the hair. Go. Everybody, this is Ryan at One Fat Frog, and today we are making pizza on a food trailer. That's right, I am going to do my best to cook a pizza for you guys, kind of show you the step-by-step -step process, and kind of show you what it's like to work on a food trailer. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of differences in a commercial kitchen, namely size. Equipment-wise, it's going to be the same, but it's going to be in a lot more compact area. And so, we got a pizza oven on, we got a, we got a pizza prep table. We are ready to get going. Uh, come with me, I, with me always, the lovely Roger. And actually, I'm going to be feeding Roger today. So Roger, I hope you're hungry. Let's do this. So inside this 24-foot trailer, we got a pizza oven. This is actually a smaller pizza oven that we've had on here. We've actually fit a six-pie oven. This is, a, I believe, a two-pie oven. So we've had a much, much bigger pie oven in here. Uh, we realized we didn't need it that big, and it was, it was taking up way too much gas to, and we weren't doing the volume. So we downsized a little bit, so we got a pizza oven here. You can see the bricks in here. Um, it's been lit. I've already turned the gas on. You know, lighting up, lighting up a food trailer is super, super simple. You walk outside, turn on the gas, you come inside, you, uh, you turn on your equipment, you hit the button, and you light the pilots. So there's no electrical to any and most of these equipment. You know, you're gonna need electric for things like your refrigeration. But as far as your hotline, uh, well, you're gonna need electrical for your hood. So your hood, this is all gas. Everything on below me, is on the, underneath the hood is gonna be gas. So there's no, it's really easy. Just light the pilot and get cooking. So we've already heated this up. We are at 550 degrees. This is prime pizza. Temperature, we got the stones, they're super hot. We've already, um, we were actually cooking a little bit for our, for a special event a little bit earlier today, so we are ready to go. I got my dough, it's thawed out, I got my sauce, I got my cheese, let's do this. So I got my dough balls here, they're actually individually weighed, bagged, and frozen. Um, so I'm gonna take it out of the bag here, it's already been thawed out, I've had it for a while. There's a, there's a whole science to, to the dough part, you know, there's, there's so much that goes into, um, put some flour down here. There goes so much into making this pizza. Uh, the dough, you'd be surprised how a pizza with the same exact cheese, the same exact sauce, the same exact dough can taste so different. And it's, uh, a lot of it has to do with how you handle the dough, um, uh, things like that. So we're gonna, we're gonna start by smashing this. You, you got to use your fingertips. You're gonna try. You got to get this 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 uh, these bubbles out. You can see this bubble right here. So you want to try to get as much of that out as possible. You know, you get those. You go to these pizza places and they have these big big old bubbles on the outside. You really don't want those. Although as a kid, those are my favorite part. Um, those are, really aren't gonna do much good for you as far as the pizza stuff. So what you want to do is kind of. Forcefully, you're gonna have to just massage this, kind of like the Bugs Bunny uh, massaging Elmer Fudd's head. You're gonna have to just go to town on this, and um, I can kind of see all the, the the bubbles, and they're kind of you know I use my fingertips. And we're gonna work this dough out really, really, really good, and you don't wanna you don't wanna break the dough, so you don't wanna stretch it too far. I'm adding flour to this. You know, the dough's gonna start getting sticky. Now you see a lot of pizza guys and they're out there and they're, and they're spinning the doughs and it's it's really, I mean, that's kind of just kind of for show. What you really wanna do is stretch it from the outside. So if you pick up the, the, the dough, you kinda wanna just kinda stretch it from the outside because that's the middles, you don't wanna break the middle. You know, the that's gonna be the thinnest part of the pizza. So what you really need to do, and I messed up over here, no, I did good. Um, it's kind of just roll it around the, the crust here, kind of with your fists inside. You can see my kind of just kneeing the uh, the dough here with my fists, and you want to just stretch out from the dough side, from the crust part. Let gravity kind of do most of the work. And dough's got a, dough's got a memory, you know. You don't want to once the dough ball's kind of risen a little bit, you don't want to break it. You don't want you know the, the yeast and all that stuff to uh, ruin your dough. So you want to keep it keep its form the best you can while stretching it, and you don't want to stretch it too far. And you don't definitely don't want to stretch like this because that's just going to pull it in the wrong areas. So what you want to do is just kind of keep working the dough, keep it going. There's little little tricks and stuff we can do. I want to I want to show you one that I personally enjoy because it gives it 
gives the crust a little bit more crunch, a little bit more flavor, and um, I like the way it cooks personally. And we're gonna we're gonna try it. So uh, while I'm working on this, I just want to talk about the cheese real quick. I'm using Grande cheese. You talk to any pizza guy, you know anyone that knows their pizzas and say, yeah, how's Grande cheese? That's this, this is the number one cheese for pizza. So Grande, shout out to them. Love your cheese. They do all sorts of different stuff. Uh, so Grande. You know, we did a food truck, uh, Mr. Cheesy's. We did Mr. Cheesy's. He's the pizza. He grew up in the pizza game. And um, he actually put Grande cheese on his wrap on the outside because he wanted to wanted everybody to know hey this is the cheese I'm using this is the real deal so grande cheese uh, tomato sauce there's a lot of different things you can do with the sauce to make it unique you can buy it by the can so this is a really good sauce what I like to do is I'll take parts of this sauce I'll mix it with actual you know those uh, those canned tomatoes you mix those together um, you can add basil you can add sugar salt pepper all those things to kind of give it its own unique taste so, so the pizza sauce, you know, play around with it, find out what you like, or just go to the store and buy it. You know, you can buy these things. You can buy these things, authentic pizza sauce. You can buy them by the can. You can make, and you can take it from there and add your own ingredients, make it your own. Roger, how do you like your pizza? Uh, with pizza sauce. Okay, so we'll add sauce to this one for sure. <laughs> uh, well, down or medium rare, I don't know. I like it the way you make it. How about that? I like that, Roger. Thank you. Yeah. So he makes good pizza. I like that. So again, I'm going to stretch out this. Uh, and he shares it. I do share pizza because I should not be eating a whole pizza by myself at this age. All right. So I'm feeling pretty good about this dough. You can see it's it's not breaking. We got some pretty good uh, consistency throughout the whole pie. All right. So. Here's what I'm going to do now. It's almost there. This is going to help cook it. Um, let me grab, grab some olive oil. Get it some right here. So olive oil is great. It gives it a nice kind of crust texture to it. I'm going to put the the dough on here. Then here is where I'm going to kind of do the last little bit of stretching. Not much. I just want to make this round. I'm going to make it sure it looks like a pizza. Or Valentine's Day, you can do it in the heart. Whatever you want to do. Pizza's pizza. No one cares. All right. How does that look, Roger? Does that look like a pizza dough? Looks like pizza dough. It doesn't look ready though yet. No, it's ready. You want to slice? Uh, yeah, well, I'll try anything right. I want. You know, I grew up in the pizza craze of the Ninja Turtle age, like in the 90s, baby. Or 90s child. I was born in the 80s. I'm a nine, I grew up in the 90s uh, watching the Ninja Turtle movie on repeat on VHS until it broke. Like Favorite Ninja Turtle now? Donatello. Oh my god, me too. I mean Michelangelo. Oh. Well, Donatello's better. I know, I'm just kidding. Yes. So, Grew up loving pizza, worshiping pizza. Uh, when I was old enough, when I was in college, I had like four jobs to get me myself through college, and one of those was a pizza chef um, in Hawaii. And I only worked there because I needed food, and I was broke. And so I would go and make myself pizzas, and I actually just invented pizzas constantly. And uh, they let me take them home. And so I developed a love for pizza making. And then here at the Frog, we have an executive chef, Chef Bruno, who was coach of the U.S. pizza team that exists. Uh, he was also you was sick. You yeah. was sick. <laughs> he was also he's also in the Pizza Hall of Fame. Apparently, there's one of those out there too. So Chef Bruno's the, the real deal, and he kind of taught me a lot of what I know. So with food trucks and food trailers, one of your biggest problems is you're gonna is figuring out your storage space. You know you're. It's a very compact kitchen. Uh, you're gonna have to get creative. So there's a couple little things that you can do. Um, sorry, I'm just something off of that. Uh, so putting shelving in is a huge way. You know, get things. You don't want to put things on the floor. Trust me, just you don't. 
Um, very, it's very unclean, it's very unprofessional. Keep things off of the floor, up high. So up here I got my tomato sauce storage up here. I got some pots hanging. Um, this is actually a, rack, a bakery rack that we cut in half. And in here we have a couple things. So some of our, our utensils are in here. We have a lot of our stuff. Um, this is some bread we made. Uh, actually, did you know you can take pizza dough, cut it in half, roll it up, and you can actually make your own Italian bread. And so we did a lunch today. And to make bread, I took some pizza dough and just flattened it out, cut it in half, rolled it up. Uh, let it rise for a little bit, stick it in the pizza oven, and within like, you know, 10 minutes you got dough. You already got bread. So, FYI. So getting creative with your space, there's storage underneath here. You got storage up here. Here's where you can put things like your napkins, uh, extra plates, you got your utensils, plastic utensils, all that stuff can be up high. I had them put them up much higher solely for the fact that this is how tall I am and I didn't want to bang my head on this every time I was getting a pizza out of the oven or something. So, you know, everything's 100% customizable. So get shelves for you because uh, you're going to be the one that's working in here the most. And up here above the door, this is actually really cool. This is an air curtain. You turn this on, you can see this. It creates a, an air curtain. It keeps bugs out. It keeps, uh, keeps things cool. It really, feels really good. In between, open up this oven all the time, you just need to kind of cool off. You got the AC up here above the sink, but you also have this. So, um, air curtains are a great, great add on. We have one over every door on this trailer and above the window, serving window. So, air curtains are a huge plus. All right, right before we get back to this pizza, I kind of want to talk about the equipment here behind me. This is a stainless door freezer. This thing is keeps everything cold. Look at that. Uh, this is where we keep our French fries. You know, you can get you can buy French fries in a box. Um, these are steak cut French fries. Keep them frozen when they're ready to go into the fryer. You just take them out, throw them in the fryer. This is great for keeping your meat stuff frozen. We all know what a freezer does. Over here, we got a drink cooler, but it also doubles. I got pasta in here, chicken stock, lemon juice, Coke, water. Um, it's just a, you know a refrigerator here, so make sure you got decent, reliable refrigeration. Nothing's worse than going to an event, finding out your refrigeration doesn't work and all your food goes bad within four hours, you're done. Uh, this is a refrigerated pizza prep table. Um, you know it's a pizza prep table because of the size of this area right here and also this little lip right here. And then inside here you can have all your toppings, um, your sauce and all your toppings. So, Roger, what comes next? Ketchup. Close. Is it red? Nope. Oh. I meant yes. Oh, ketchup. All right. So, depends how saucy you want it. Kind of just dump it there in the center. And then you're going to take the bottom of your spoon and you're just going to kind of spread it as best you can. So, I know Roger loves his pizza sauce. So, I'm going to add a little bit more than usual. You want to get up as close to the dough as possible. Yeah. Sure, Roger. You want more? Oh, that's, that's amazing. You want to keep it even. You want to push it out to the edges, and, put, and then comes the best part. Here, you, Roger. We got your cheese. Um, again, all of this we are cooking for ourselves. <laughs> Uh, normal safety precautions, we would be wearing masks, we're not serving this food. But you know what's really cool, you see right down here, all you need electronically, this tablet right here is, uh, is how we, you'd get your orders from like a DoorDash. So if this is running, you don't need a delivery boy, you don't need uh, a whole fleet of delivery drivers. All you need is a DoorDash or an Uber Eats or something like that. They, they'll send you the tablet, you get it up and running. This is where you're going to get your orders from, and then they show up. If you've got walk-ins and they want to come buy stuff, all you got to do is buy one of these squares, and they're like five bucks. And this will help you read the cards. You can actually take all your orders from your phone. Uh, super, super simple. You don't need to spend a lot of money to get up and running uh, on any of these food trucks. You know, this, this here is my entire delivery department. Here is my, uh, this, the, the, the POS. So, food trucks, it's, it's easy to simplify. Again, if you were doing a restaurant, if you were doing, you know, spending a couple hundred thousand dollars on your build out of your restaurant, you're going to want to have uh, 
best of the best, but for a food truck, you really just need the bare essentials, and that's um, good ingredients, good food, reliable equipment, and um, a way to, to take money. So, all right, so here's the cheese. You don't want to put too much cheese in the center of your pizza. As the pizza starts to melt, the cheese starts to melt, and it's cooking, all that oil is going to kind of collect in the center, and it's going to make it real um, just gross. You, you've all had really greasy, gross pizza. So minimize on that. You need good, good cheese. Again, nothing's better than grande. You don't want to. You don't want to put too much on your pizza. It's going to kill it. And look at that, Roger. What does that look like here? Pizza. Do you want pepperoni or anything? Are you good with cheese? What I do you want, want? I want cheese. I want All cheese. Right. Unless you want to put pepperoni on there. I'll do show, half pepperoni. Show it to the people, yeah. Yeah, we'll do half pepperoni. So I'm gonna reach into my freezer. I'm actually portioning these out. These are frozen right now, so they, but they're good. Pepperonis. Look at that. Look at that. The humidity down here. You can see it. That's cool. Um. Again, pepperoni is to your taste. I like to just give them maybe a half inch space between. Not too much. You don't want to, you know. You know, this is actually a really fun thing to do at home. Uh, I've, I've taught how to make pizzas at home from kids as young as two years old up to 12, and they really enjoyed it. Um, it's just a fun family kind of event kids making their own pizza, deciding how many toppings that they're going to put on their own pizzas, and then they get to actually eat it and uh, just like, and it's a super simple, you can go to the grocery store and get pre-made pizza dough, cheese, pepperoni, and sauce, and it's it's that easy. You don't have to get as complicated as we're getting it right here where you start with making the dough yourself. So we're going to go ahead and put this in here. You want to use one of these wooden paddles to get it in there, it helps it. A lot of times it, well, we're using aluminum foil, so we're, we're kind of cheating right now. Normally what I would do is I would I would actually make the pizza. Once it's stretched out good enough, I'll take the, put the dough on here, and this is where I'll put all the toppings. So that when you go into the oven, you kind of do a, kind of just kind of shake it off slowly, and there's a whole trick to that too. So, we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the oven. Careful not to burn yourself. I can't tell you how many times I've burned myself on one of these ovens. And so, trick, the trick to uh, getting that off there, keeping it shaped. And we're gonna let that cook. We're gonna cook that halfway, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the aluminum foil off. We're gonna take that out, slide it out. It's gonna come right off, and we're gonna cook the rest of the pizza directly on the bricks. Gives it that crunch, it gives it that pizza, pizza texture that separates it from just any other pizza. So I can already hear it sizzle. Look at that, imagine. Let's see, it's kind of it's kind of frying the edges underneath. It's um, it's just gonna give your pizza a whole new mm, texture to it. We're gonna yummy. We're gonna try it out. Um, just really fun, you know. Working in the kitchen, it's really really fun. The whole. The whole um, the layout here is beautiful. You can sit here. I can take my orders. Great. Let me get started. I come over here. I'll get it, everything ready, prepped. I can still see the window in case there's more orders that come out. Um, once that's ready, you just kind of go throw it in the oven. Again, the fryers are real close right here. So if they're ordering French fries or something, you can just take it right out of the freezer here, and then you work your way over here and then out. So there, there is a flow. There is a. It's a lot more than just, okay, let me just throw a table here, uh, a freezer here, or whatever. There's an actual flow to the kitchen. Um, once you learn that flow, you understand how it works, your efficiency inside the, the, your food truck is going to be much better. So, again, two layers. Up here, I got, as much, I got as many shelves as I can fit in here right now. In fact, I could probably fit a couple more. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I could feed. There's a couple. There's a couple feet here and there, but for the most part, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight shelves in here. You got some shelving underneath here. Nothing's on the floor. Keep everything off the floor except maybe your fire extinguisher. Um, just kind of keeps 
you know, keeps the bugs from, from coming in, you know, finding food. And again, keep it clean. One of the hardest things to do with a food truck is that at the end of the day, you're exhausted. You just did this really big, big event. Um, it's, it's a mess. You gotta come home, you gotta clean it. Uh, the beauty of a one fat frog trailer is that they're easy to clean. Can't promise every trailer out there that we built is gonna be super clean. Clearly the chefs are different, everyone's different, but we can promise that they're easy to clean. This uh, material that we make them out of is, is a special material that's super easy to wipe down. Uh, I, I, took a, I took a rag yesterday, there was some, there was some uh, dirt on this back door. I just wiped it down real easy, super easy to clean. Your stainless steel equipment's easy to clean. Uh, the floors, this is actually a rubber coin flooring. I personally like this better. Uh, it's much easier to clean. So put those in consideration when you're designing your trailers. How you're going to keep things organized and how you want to keep things clean. All right, let's go check on our pizza. And we're going to uh, take that pizza out. We're going to take this out. And we're going to fry the rest of it right there. I wanted to get that beautiful, it's already pretty clean. Um, it smells good. Dr. What do you think? It's ready. Let's eat. So it's actually pretty ready. I, I, I think I might have overcooked it a little bit. That was really quick. This is a great oven. Um, I'm going to let that cook for just a second longer. But um, So we're going to put it right there on the stones. We're going to let that kind of uh, that crust, give that Italian crunchy crust kind of uh, feel to it and then we're going to throw it out here on a plate. So we got a pizza pan here. We got our pizza cutter. This is the last step. This is my favorite step. Let's, let's get ready. So this is about ready. I'm just going to kind of show you. You can see here the dough nice and golden brown around the edges, nice dark on the bottom. That means it's going to be crispy. Uh, the cheese is all melted. Everything's melted. It is ready to go. Uh, kind of see it bubbling. You can always look underneath, see the dough underneath. It's got a really good color to it. I can tell it's already it's perfect. I did not mess this up on camera and I'm very happy. So, we got to be very careful with these doors. Look at that pie. Woohoo! It's still bubbling. So, I can already, oh man, you can hear it when you cut it. A perfect pizza like this, you want to hear it crunch as it's going through. And it's supposed to cut real easy. Look at that. Roger. Brian, are you hungry? Yes. Huh? Look at that cheese, it's still it's still coming down off the sides. You can see the bottom, nice, nice, nice texture. Noth nothing's too soggy. That uh, the olive oil kind of gives it a nice little um, crunch, keeps the whole thing from getting too soggy. Mmm. Wow, Roger. Compliments to the chef. <clears throat> now I'm going to document the first feeding of Roger. Oh my. One fat frog history. It's actually really hot. <laughs> really hot. Look at this crust. Still nice and it's soft on the inside, really crunchy on the outside. The olive oil kind of gives it that, that fried flavor on the outside, but it keeps it nice and uh, soft on the inside, so. That's why you, you don't have to do it that way. You don't have to do it anyway. That's the beauty of pizza. You know how hard it is to mess up a pizza? I mean, relatively, relatively speaking. Me. Going for it. Right. Oh, it's still warm. Why is it still warm? It's as if it came out of the oven. Mm. Oh, wow. Where'd you get that pepperoni? Uh, we found it outside. <laughs> what do you think, Roger? It's delicious. One to ten. Uh, I mean, I, 
Okay, so all I had is the pepperoni, but the pepperoni is a 10. There we go. <laughs> wait, wait, let me see. Here we go. All right, first bite, coming up. <laughs> Did you burn yourself? It's still a little hot, yeah. <laughs> that is so good. I'm gonna have the rest. Okay. Thank you for walking. Christopher Walken? What was that? <laughs> Thank you for watching our pizza demo here on one of our One Fat Frog food truck trailers. These mobile kitchens are made to make money. This is a this is a standalone business. If you've always wanted to be a pizza chef like I am, like I have been, which I have the line over again. If you want to be a pizza chef, if you want to grow up and be a pizza chef like I do, this is the perfect way to start your business. Uh, entry costs are low, much, much, much lower than a restaurant. Uh, it's you, need a, you're, you don't need a dining room. You don't need your own delivery service. You got your own with Uber Eats and those type of uh, technologies out there right now. You don't even have to provide your own delivery drivers. You can just stay on the truck, do what you love to do and what you do well, which is making pizza. And um, and that's I'm, I mean honestly, what, what else is there in life? Do something you love, and you'll, um, you'll always be happy. So this is my dream, sharing a little bit with you as my journey to one day own my own pizza empire. Um, here in the One Fat Frog food truck, test kitchen, demo trailer, whatever you want to call this. And Roger and I are going to be destroying this pizza together. And uh, if you have any questions, if you want to give them more information on a different size trailer, different uh, different kind of setup, give us a call. Talk to one of our sales guys, 407-480-3409. Um, all the information is in the description below. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us any way possible. You give us a call, Facebook, email, anything you like. We're here to help. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Ciao, ciao, guys. Bye, Roger. Bye. God. Getting out. Thanks for pretending to share. <laughs>